dun, 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 Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine, this is Eric. Hello. And we're back for some like Game of Thrones content. It's been forever it's since been we forever. actually did yep. a, a proper like Game of Thrones video. video. Yeah, we've had some live chats, but this is for real. Because Game of Thrones is starting this Sunday. No. <gasps> Excitement! Uh, we decided to have some fun and do like a new prediction video about who will die this season. Because oh, yeah. why not? I think we've started talking a little bit about like some of our thoughts during some of our live chats with Kenny. But uh, if you haven't seen any of these or if you just want like a more of a condensed, together, version? condensed version of who we think will die, well, this is it. We have three categories. It'll be dies, survives, or 50-50, like, we, <laughs> we, really we can't decide. So let's jump right into it and start with... Cersei. She dies. She dies. <laughs> I think we're... I think everybody's in agreement on this. <laughs> That's the only one we're all it's like... Yeah, all, and I think everyone thinks she's gonna die. If she doesn't... It, it would actually... It would really actually be surprising good. at this point. So that would be the interesting part. I think a lot of this comes from the prophecy, mm -hmm. right? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that's why everybody's oh, oh. like expecting Got that at it. some point, you know, all your children will die. Yeah, and, that, and that's then, true. We are on Cersei Death Watch. We are since, on Cersei since Death Watch. Tom and died, that's exactly. True. And since we think that this is going to be the season of humans versus humans, and next season we're going to have humans against White Walker, I don't think uh, Homegirl is going to make it. Yeah, see, that's more of my reason because yeah. the prophecy could possibly happen later in later seasons. Next is Euron. I think he died. But you're not sure. I, right? No, no, I, I don't think he does. Okay. I like I know that he's the big bad, and I know that logically, yes, you would have him just know his end. But it feels to me that you could have him more of the character who is evil, but towards the end, sort of like you know, is just shifting his purpose, right? So it's not just about committing evil stuff, it's also about survival and I actually would imagine him, you know, going after the White Walkers. So yeah, I think he's gonna survive this. For similar reasons to Cersei dying, I think he will die, but also I do wonder if, you know, if you only have six episodes, do you really want to spend time with a character like Euron going against the White Walkers when you have so many fan favorites that yeah. could go against the White Walkers? But at the same time, do you also want to spend time building up a character just to, to just be villain of the season and that's it if you think about it ramsey was a villain for several seasons before we actually got to kill him so i do that's think true. they're building him up to make him into certainly a villain but a different kind of villain that's what i think I'm thinking. that would actually be more interesting jamie uh jamie i think he will survive yeah he survives he survives i mean i want i want him to survive so i'll just say he survives that's not why um, i think he survives Okay. I, I think, well, first of all, I know that there is a thought that he is going to be the person that will kill Cersei. Probably not. I'm just going to put that out there. But I actually think that uh, he is probably going to, uh, you know, lose even more with Cersei this season dying. And I also think that he probably is going to be faced with a stark choice of just you know, just giving up and dying or just going out in a blaze of like glory on like the last fight. And you know he loves a good fight. So I think with Euron, he's going to be one of those unlikely allies to the human cause that were like, hey, he's evil, but he's better than a White Walker. Can, <laughs> can we get like, he's, Jamie's not evil. evil. No, I'm just, oh, I'm oh, being, okay. I mean, on the other side, oh, right? Oh, like oh, that's what they were going to think. Got it, that, got it. Oh, they he's, don't, a he's a yeah, Lannister. Yeah, he's a Lannister. Like L Lannister is by default evil for the other side, except for Tyrion, of course. Mr. Braun, who is going to survive this. You know he I will. I think he's going to survive. You know he will. He's, he's a survivor. The man, no, nah, nothing will happen because you know you want to see him fight a White Walker. Jon Snow, um, he survives. Yeah. Because I think we already did the whole like, I'm dead. And if you're going to kill him again, maybe you would kill him like at the end end. But I don't think he was going to die in this season because, first of all, he needs to fight the White Walkers because he's the only one who actually believes in them and has fought them. Kit Harrington must be a really arrogant mofo on the set. He might be, oh. you can't kill me, motherfuckers! I'm alive, you already did it! And you brought me back! Moving on to Sansa, who will survive? I actually think she will survive. I know. Oh, you think so? Yeah, okay. I think so. I, I, I think so too. I think a lot of people think she will die. No. 
And I guess the argument could be like, she's not really doing much right now. I don't know. I don't see, I mean, obviously, maybe my imagination is not big enough, but I don't see a situation in which she would die. Yeah, right and now. here's the thing. I know what she's gonna do. Okay. She's gonna actually run the north. So when John goes on his adventures, as we've seen in the trailer, whether it's going to Dragonstone or going to the north, I do think that someone's gonna have to be left behind to manage things. So in my opinion, I foresee Sansa actually stepping up her game and being more of a leader this season than she's ever been uh, up, up until this point. So yeah, I, I, I think she's gonna survive. Oh yeah. I think she survives. You don't think she survives? Yeah, of course she survives. Oh, 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 of okay. course. I thought you were like, no. She yeah, dies. yeah. yeah. Okay. She's no, she's she part survives. of the final battle. You know, Arya. Look, it would suck that we spent all this time That's training true. her. That's true. To have all these skills, and then you kill her this season right before the big fight with the bad. I with want the like Bran. I think he's definitely surviving, and I think that's because he is key to the fight with the White Walkers. And in fact, Benjen did tell him in season six, episode six, Blood of My Blood, he said he told him about the Night's King. One way or another, he will find his way to the world of men. When he does, you will be there waiting for him, and you will be ready. This kind of thing is not said just like. Let me just Casually. say this. Casually. Yeah. You know, if Benjen tells him this, then Bran will be there when the Night's King crosses the wall. Because of that, he can't die this season. He's going to be a important figure in that fight. Exactly. And not, not, not just for that particular fight, but if you think about it, a lot of us, the viewers, have gotten out of it in terms of like new information about the show has come from okay. Bran's storyline. Right, so him as a plot device, he's so useful that it almost it would be like hurting, shooting themselves in the foot to take him out of the game so soon. Especially because there's very little episodes. We're gonna have to cram in a lot of time, a lot of information. So I suspect that we're gonna see more Bran, obviously warging, but also also going into the past and discovering more information about maybe potentially more about the White Walkers. We don't know. So I do think that Bran as a plot device is so useful that he has to survive. Mira Reed, who Sandrine believes will? Sur survive? You don't believe No, survive? my God, oh, she's oh. dead. Literally, I love Mira listen, Reed listen, so listen. Much. The only job that Mira Reed has is to bring Bran to the wall and drop him off. Literally, she could drop dead right after that, and that's it. So I think Homegirl ain't gonna make it. Little finger. Ah, I think that's that's an easy one, right? 50 50. Oh, so it's not an easy one because we don't know. Well, yeah, it's easy in the fact that we don't know. Oh, yeah. Dude. Like, it's we just it know nothing. I mean, there are reasons why he would die, and there are reasons why he wouldn't die. I mean, I, do I think Littlefinger will survive to see the White Walker fight? Maybe not. Torment. Ah, uh, unfortunately, this is another 50-50. Uh, so do you agree with me? Yeah, it could go either way. I do think that, again, he, he's been so close to death, and he's such a formidable adver adversary, and we're setting stuff up with Brienne, maybe, potentially. <laughs> yeah. It could go either way. I, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right that he would die uh, this season, but I things are like bad. I feel like he could be such a good um, character to have in the fight with the White Walkers, because oh, yeah. he has faced them before. Beric Dondarrion. I think he will die. But he's died so many times, so who knows, maybe he'll be back. But uh, I think it's very possible, because he's going with Jon, uh, on some sort of mission or quest or whatnot. And they're probably gonna face White Walkers? Yes, it looks like they're facing at least Whites. And then, I, you know, I also realized that Beric Dondarrion and now Jon Snow are pretty similar, as in Beric Dondarrion has Thoros of Mir, who brought him back multiple times, and Jon has Melisandre, Melisandre who brought him back this time, mm -hmm. and they're both been brought back by the Lord of Light. So if Beric Dondarrion were to die, could his sword possibly be passed on to John, you know, flaming sword. John has then would have a flaming sword, or could you know maybe use that same power, Lord of the Light power. I don't know. I see a similar similarities between the two. Yeah. So 
I'm thinking that it's very possible that he would die. No, I think he's gonna die. But you know what? Let me just have a, a tiny aside here about the whole Lord of Light thing. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of mystery behind the Lord of Light. That's true. Right? And there hasn't been a lot of answers coming except all these like big words coming all from all the different prophets and all that. I think the problem is that they're interpreting signs and every priest is interpreting the signs differently. I mean, Melisandre was like, it's Stannis. Oh no, it's John. And then some other ones are saying it's Daenerys, so... Yeah, so here's what I think. I think Bran is going to reveal what's the deal with the whole Lord of Light thing. Why Bran? I don't... I, I don't think see. Bran, because has the ability of going in the past and seeing how things are coming about and overcoming, I do think that there is a relationship between the Lord of Light and the idea of the White Walkers, or at least the concept of them. But I think that Bran is going to address it. So, and the, the reason why I was thinking about it is because up until very recently, I had not pictured, uh, you know, Beric Dondarrion uh, teaming up with Jon, fighting whites, getting it going. And then we're potentially going to see the power of, you know, the, the flaming sword, We've right? Already seen it. We haven't seen the power of the, the flaming sword against the White Walkers. And I think that this might be the time where we learn more about the Lord so of Lights and we see oh, the effect on the White so Walkers. You think that They're literally the opposites of each other, right? The White Walkers are cold or winter. Lord of Light is flame and heat. They're the absolute opposite. So you're saying that the flaming sword, like as in the, 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 the fire from the flaming sword from the Lord of Light could actually uh, burn the White Walkers because they don't burn from they don't the burn. fire. At least they don't. From they anything. aren't afraid of the, the fire. They walk through it. So uh, I think for me, the question was more like, will they burn with dragon fire? But now you're just making this could be lower light fire. Yeah, I'm just saying. Interesting. Possible. So that was a big aside. Back to Thoros of Mir. I think he might die as well. Mm. Just because, you know, Beric dies. Probably Thoros of Mir dies. I think, especially with Melisandre. And Melisandre place, around. You don't yeah. really need Thoros. Sam and Gilly, of course they're going to survive. You know, Sam is the new maester. He's going to be the keeper of all the information. He's going to get, you know, the hookup in terms of knowing what to do going forward. Sam got it. And Gilly, of course, you know, she's, she's the other uh, half of the brain. So Davos. I think it's 50-50. Yeah, could go either way. He's been surviving all this time, even, you know, he survived Stannis, so who knows. Melisandre, I think, is also a 50-50, although she is supposed to meet up with Arya again at some point, and we know Arya is still kind of mad at her mm. for taking away Gendry, so... But if we think Thoros of Mir is gonna die... Yeah, one of the two has to, have to survive, so... But 50-50. But I still say 50-50. I think she survived. Brienne and Podrick. I'm just gonna say that Brienne survives, because why would you want to kill Brienne? I just... No. She what? survives just because I think there's gonna be such a need for, like, really big fighters, right? Like, in the next season. It would it'd be such a terrible waste to not have her in the mix. Yeah, she, she's pretty great. She's yeah. pretty badass. Like, it would suck not to have her. So, I think they're gonna keep her. And Podrick, for me, is 50-50. No, if Brienne survives, Podrick survives. Podrick survives? Okay. Yeah. Okay! I could see Podrick, Podrick, Podrick and Braun in the end oh, chilling like I know. villains, you know? The, the, uh, no. Nah, Podrick's gonna make it, man. Podrick's my homie. Benjen! Uncle Benji. He survives, although technically he's already dead. Yeah. Or he's about to be transformed into, like... I think he's gonna turn into a White Walker. I honestly do. So he survives. <laughs> <laughs> That's debatable! Is it... What, what do we what do we consider surviving? As in the character still around, so Ed, aka Dolores Ed. He's the Lord Commander. He's at the wall now. I want him to survive. I, I really want everybody to Why? survive. I like Ed. I don't think he's gonna survive. I know, I'm yeah, so he's afraid. He's I feel like when when John left and we realized he was Lord Commander, I was like, oh no, all the Lord Commanders have died. Yeah, this yeah, does yeah. not he, bode well. John is like, the only job he did, like, I don't think I'm gonna stay here. I died the first time. <laughs> I'm out! I died the first time. <laughs> I'll be king of the north! <laughs> so Grey Worm is going to die this season. Okay, so. We've actually talked about this in a couple of our live chats, and the reason why we suddenly were, were like, he's probably gonna die, is we? because... That's true, you came up with this theory. America came yep. up with this theory. And usually I don't really agree with him, but... <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, he made some good points. So there are a few pictures that were released by HBO 
for the new season. And in one of the pictures, it looks like Danny is arriving on Dragonstone, and you have a uh, Grey Worm who has some sort of a brooch on him. Yeah. And in the picture, you also see Masande, and she's not wearing any brooch or anything. And they've also released another picture of Masande, who now has the, the brooch. brooch. And since in the trailer, we see them kind of getting it on, you know, it looks like they're happy. We thought, oh, maybe Masande suddenly has the brooch because it's the one from Grey Worm because he died. The cliche in shows is like... Let's get together, and then one of them dies. Yes, yeah. especially if you're a virgin or black, and in this case, he's virgin and black. He, yeah, he's still gonna die. <laughs> Speaking of Misande, yeah, but she has to survive. If he dies, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yep, she survives. I she think. survives. Yep. Tyrion, I say he survives, but Amaric disagrees. If Tyrion dies, we have to blame Amaric. Hashtag blame Amaric. Listen, let me tell you. Let me outline my theory on why Tyrion is gonna die, and it's based on the two trailers that have come out, the two official ones. I think it's interesting that most of the major characters have had multiple scenes in different angles and sometimes different places being shown. However, Tyrion, in both trailers, has been seen in similar locations over and over and over again. And you always see him just have a reaction shot. You don't have him have conversations with other people. So I think because you're gonna have to have one of the big characters eat it, right? It can't just be Cersei, right? I would imagine that we're gonna have a situation in which Cersei gets got and also Tyrion gets got, which is gonna be our big death this season. Tyrion is gonna be our big death, I'm calling it. He's a goner. See, my theory as to why we don't see that much about Tyrion is that probably everything that he's involved in is too spoilery. So they're like, There's no let's way. keep it in. That makes no sense. Or maybe because sometimes they, 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 they really, I remember last season, they packed a lot of the scenes in the trailer from uh, the first few episodes and then, you know, a few scenes from later episodes. So maybe he's not that much in the first few episodes and then, you know, he's a lot in later episodes. Look, or maybe he's, he's such not. a great Or maybe he stays on Dragonstone and nothing much no, is happening. No, listen. He's such a great character. You can't underutilize him, right? Even if you just have him just having a little speech, right? He's great at all this. They didn't use him once for Don't. anything? Not Shh. even a quote? Don't you say know if, No, you know I'm right. You no. know he's so good. The fact that they didn't use him Tells you They're, maybe they use him. They just don't tell you the trailer. that the only scenes they have of him are so spoilery because homeboy is not enough in the series in the actual season to uh, to be shown. So that's what I'm thinking. Varys, nice. He survives. He's yeah. a survivor. Yeah. Jorah, I think he survives. I think Daenerys ordered him to go find a cure for his uh, grayscale, and we know Jorah wants to you know, do everything he can to please Daenerys and to go get back to her. So I think uh, he's going to try and get back to her. Dario Naharis, of course, is a survivor. Well, yeah, plus he's he stayed in Marine, so we probably won't be seeing much of him, but he's just going to be like hanging out over there, doing mm -hmm. his thing. Yeah, no, no, I think he's fine. Daenerys! I mean, she has to first survive. of all, people would lose their minds. I would lose my mind. If, the, if Danny got got. I think yeah, some I people mean, would legit stop watching the show. Yeah. If she got got. I feel like we have to see it through at least to like the last season. I, I she don't has think, to I, yeah. fight the White Walkers with her dragons. I'm 100% with you. I think that we have seen a lot from her, but we also haven't seen enough. This is the final fight, right? Like for, for West everything West, yeah. she's been fighting for is culminating in this season. But really, there's more with the White Walkers and she doesn't really realize that. So I think it would be... Uh, interesting to see her, uh, that come through. So yeah, she's gonna survive. Yara and Alaria Sand. I'm putting them together because uh, there were some behind the scenes pictures that came out that revealed some, you know, a little bit about their fate this yeah. season. Not that it showed them dying, but it showed like where, where they are, where they are yeah. which leads me to believe that this they're might not, be they're the They're not end surviving of it. this, yeah. yeah. At least they're not in good position. <laughs> For sure. So. Theon, I think he's gonna make it. I think he's he's suffered enough. He's li literally given his balls <laughs> to the show. Did. This is it. The Hound. I think the Hound is similar to John. Uh, they had sort of a fake out. He's probably dead. Oh wait, no, look, he's alive. It would just not make sense for him to again die this season. Or I think it's just like a repeat of what we've seen. Plus, 
you know, we're going to talk about the mountain as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like Clegane Bowl is happening. Yeah. Clegane Bowl is like the fight between the hound and the mountain, the brothers going at it. Yeah. And so I think he will, he you, will win, you th right? You, you think, I think the mountain think that, will die. You think the mountain will die, the hound will win and survive this? You don't think so? No. I had a moment where I thought, well, that's what I thought about over and then over and died. So, yeah, you know, look, look. this could be over and all you over know, again, but I don't you know if my know heart the can the hound take it. has to die. He probably will die later on in the season, but I think he has to die. Well, and I think he no. will die right after killing the mountain. So how did he die? Oh, I, I will have to watch it. Like, I'm good, but I'm not that good. I think those are all the characters that we're going to cover for now. It's quite a lot. Of course, we would love to hear who you think will die. Uh, do you agree with us? Do you think we're wrong on some points? Let us know in the comments. What are your theories? We'd love to hear them. Don't forget that we will be reviewing Game of Thrones this season. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Do you think that means we'll get some more of Jamie and Bri Brienne? Like Jamie oh, and? Yeah, just, yes, yes, we'll get more of that. Are you happy? Can we move on? You know what? I'm torn actually. <laughs> <laughs> Tormund and Jamie. Oh, Jesus Christ. We'll talk about Tormund in a bit.